So join us now for another episode of Science of the Rich and Famous. Ooh, la, 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 la. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? Hey, Shelley Duvall. Hey, you're no handsome prince. <laughs> Will you sign my autograph book? Why, certainly. Oh, sorry, good sir, but my quill is run dry. <laughs> You'll have to come back another time. I'm busy. What a fabulous mirror you have, and such a nice reflection. Thanks. Such a flatterer. Yes, mirrors are wonderful, and so mysterious. Why, did you know that people once believed they could lose their very souls to a mirror? No. Yes, and you can see why people were so superstitious. It looks so much like there's another person behind the glass. This is what's known as your virtual image. If I'm two feet from the mirror, my reflection looks as though it's two feet behind the mirror. In fact, if you focus a camera at the image, you would set the lens distance at four feet because the light reflected from the image behaves as if it were four feet away. Ah. <laughs> Although mysterious, there's no magic here. What? <sighs> Only physics. <laughs> here, let me demonstrate. Dana ker sumaf el pope. Is this some foreign tongue? No, the image is reversed. But the mirror didn't do anything. It faithfully reflected the image. I turn the book around to present the words to the mirror. And see, the light in this room reflects off the R in rich, travels to the mirror, and bounces back to my eye. Ah, so it only looks backward. That's right. The mirror is only doing its job, reflecting rays of light. So the face one sees in the mirror each morning, hmm, is actually the reverse of what everyone else sees. How utterly fascinating. Isn't it? The mirror obeys all the laws of physics, but especially the law of reflection, which says the angle of incidence equals the angle of reflection. It's just like hmm, bouncing a ball. Throw it straight, it bounces straight back. Throw it at an angle. Whoa! Look out! Woo! Woo! Yikes! Everybody duck! Is it safe? Whoa! <laughs> As I was saying, it'll bounce back at an equal angle. Like the ball, the light bounces from an object off the mirror to your eye at equal angles. This assumes that the mirror is flat, of course. Oh, dear. I seem to have gained some weight. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, no. Now I'd have to run around in the shower to get wet. <laughs> These funhouse mirrors are liars because their reflective surfaces are not flat. This can best be seen reflected in a silver spoon. See? I'm upside down. Hi. <laughs> this happens because of the spoon's curved reflective surface. The light from the top of my head bounces off the bottom of the spoon, and the light from my chin must bounce off the top of the spoon to reach my eyes. All at equal angles, of course. But to the eye, the image appears upside down. Why, I had no idea. <sighs> yes, mirrors are wonderful. <laughs> Ooh, oh. say, you've got something in your teeth. What? Sort of what? right Where? here. Over here? No, no. To the right. Where, on, on this side? Mm. Your other right. No. But it's green. Which, which, which two? Right over there. Here? Oh, no. See for yourself. Hmm? 